Welcome to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren, your analysis of local, state, and federal politics. This is DITV's weekly politics segment where I'll discuss important political events impacting Iowa City. I'm your host, Lauren Johnson. Esteemed former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright has passed away at the age of 84. Albright was the first woman in history to have the role of U.S. Secretary of State. As a child, Albright escaped Czechoslovakia with her family after the Nazis invaded. She grew up in communist Yugoslavia until her family fled to the United States. Her experience with the Nazi regime in the Iron Curtain influenced the strong opposition to fascism and totalitarianism seen in her political career. She attended Wellesley College for her undergrad and earned her master's degree in Ph.D. from Columbia University. After earning her Ph.D., she began her career in government. Her legacy has left a great impact on U.S. politics. Albright began her journey in the Carter administration as a member of the White House National Security Council, or NSC. After the election of Bill Clinton, she helped form his NSC. Following this, she served as a U.S. ambassador in the United Nations. Albright represented the United States until 1997, when she secured her historic position as U.S. Secretary of State. During her tenure, she pushed for an expansion of NATO, most notably her push for intervention in the Balkans during the Bosnian Genocide of 1992. She served until 2001, when Bill Clinton left office. Finally, she served on the board of the Council of Foreign Relations until she passed. She also gained notoriety for her fashion choices that often indicated the nature of meetings or events in the nation. Madeleine Albright made other achievements outside of serving the country and government. After her term as Secretary of State, she taught at Georgetown University and wrote several books. In 2012, former President Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her efforts. Even after her retirement, she continued to advocate for democracy. She spoke out against and for U.S. foreign policies, proving that her core belief of the importance of speaking out rang true to the end. She proved continuously that a woman could be Secretary of State and could do it well. On her passing, President Joe Biden said a highlight of his career in the Senate was working with Madeleine Albright and that she was a quote-unquote force. He also said, quote, When I think of Madeleine, I will always remember her fervent faith that America is the indispensable nation, unquote. When it came to her former co-worker and former president, Bill Clinton, said, quote, Few leaders have been so perfectly suited for the times in which they served. As a child in war-torn Europe, Madeleine and her family were twice forced to flee their home. When the end of the Cold War ushered in a new era of global interdependence, she became America's voice at the UN, then took the helm at the State Department, where she was a passionate force for freedom, democracy, and human rights." End quote. The legacy that Madeleine Albright has left behind is one that will continue to inspire young immigrants and women for years to come. Thanks for tuning in to Backroom Breakdown. I'll be back next week with more of the latest political news affecting Iowa City, Iowa, and the USA. I'm Lauren Johnson. Have a great day.